Iger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 9 a.m. update. And uh, currently, we've got a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow futures trading down 15 points. The Nasdaq future up 19 points. The S&P is flat. The Russell is flat as well. Over in Asia last night, it was a mixed bag. The Shanghai was up 23. The Nikkei down 110. That was four tenths percent. The Hang Seng off 465, nearly 2 percent to the downside. Over in Europe right now, the FTSE is flat and the DAX is off 130. Gold's down three bucks. Silver is up 12 pennies. Platinum up 70 cents. Uh, you've got natural gas up 14 pennies. That's uh, 3% to the upside. The 30 year Treasury's caught a bid. It's actually bottomed yesterday. January Rhodes Mentum Indicator bottom out here. It's up another 25 ticks as we speak right now, trading at 152.23. Uh, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart just to give you an overall feel for what the markets are communicating to us. Right now in the ES Mini, that's your upper left hand panel, you can see prices trading below rising trend line. It's trading below the center of its bullish structure profile. You've got the uh, bottom of a weekly profile. That's the next level of support. So 44.96.50 to the downside uh, should be a support level. If that fails, then the next area would be 45.29. That's the bottom of its daily profile. The Russell 2000, which is well above the 50-day exponential moving average, the 50 days at 23.28. The spot volatility index is printed at 27.94. That is when things can really be problematic for the S&P 500. The NQ is below the bottom of its daily profile. It's below the bottom of a weekly profile. And so the only level of support that it has is that little rising trend line. If that breaks, that suggests move back to the lows from January 24th. The low of January 24th for the NQ is 13706. The U.S. dollar index stuck between rising trend line support and declining trend line resistance. Goldilocks confirmed an A to B equals C to the upside yesterday when it took out the uh, swing point from back in November. It did it with volume. The one-to-one -one price projection for that A to B equals C, and I've got two of them out here, is 1956. Silver is taking on the top of its daily profile. That's at 2397, as well as taking on trend line support. The real key level that uh, silver needs to close above is going to be 24. Well, that's not really the correct number because of my synthetic contract. I gave that to you at the end of the uh, last show out there. Uh, Lights we crew, by the way, it's pulling back, but it's pulling back to test support. And that level is 8702. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the morning market kickoff is up next. Have a fantastic Friday, fantastic week weekend. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Take care, everybody.